Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Um, today we are going to tie a caddis pattern that is a little bit on the realistic side. Uh, and well, I'm, I'm trying to com combine uh, the realistic pattern with the, uh, the fishing fly. Because we all know that realistic patterns are not always easy to, to, uh, to fish with. Sometimes it's not possible. Maybe an insect that is supposed to be floating is just sinking in, in fly form. Uh, or something takes too much wind or something just trestle or you know. But I have tried this uh, this fly a number of times. I've caught fish with it. It's not the easiest uh, fly to catch uh, or, or cast, sorry, but it works rather well and it catches fish. And that makes me very happy. So I want to share this uh, pattern with you guys. I I really do hope you will uh, subscribe and, and put a little like on that button down there. Well let's jump to it and uh, I'll show you how to tie it. So guys we're at the Y's and uh, this is the fly we're going to tie, a caddis. So um, let's start. We are using a uh, Akita hook, very very light, X2 at length. Um, good hooks. Not made for uh, very big fishes, but um, very good dry fly hooks. We're using uh, 8 0 thread and uh, in the color brown, of course. You can use a white thread as well and just color it. All the, the the place it 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 will show doesn't really matter, but there we are, and we are using a uh, micro chenille uh, in the color gray. We're just going to measure the length. Of the bit, we want the, the the bit to be as long as the hook shank, not longer than the hook shank, exactly like the hook shank, or a little bit shorter. And to make the the end nice, we take a lighter. And we just melt the end a little, little bit to make it. You can see a little nicer, yeah, like that. We measure in again, and we tie it in on the top of the hook. like that now we will secure it it's a pretty easy pattern it's nothing to it actually and now we will take um, CDC in the color brown oxide or uh, well it's, it's basically uh, very light brown or uh, 
yeah you can actually use whatever color you want it's not the the main issue here we tie the CTC feather right at the at the spots we'll take our Hackle equipment and we'll just spin it a little bit around and start tapping. And after each turn, you spin it a little bit, and we want the body to get a little, little, not heavier, but you know little wider and we're almost there this is good we'll just tie it off right there cut off the excess like that and now we'll just take a look at all the axes on here you see we, we've got a lot of long fibers and we just want to pick them off like that and the reason that I don't cut everything off here is because all those fibers are very good to have because On the border, they look like like small legs of the fly. Now it's time for the thorax, and I'm using uh, hair's ear, and I'm just I want a little little thorax in the beginning just a little bit I wax in the thread just a little bit because I want the body a little bit heavier out here before I put on my wings that I have made out of a uh, whiting. This is the saddle that I'm using. It looks like that. You can use that saddle to anything. Hackle, wings, whatever. And those clips are used mostly uh, by uh, well, you, you can find it in any hardware store all over the world, I guess, or something very similar. And they are great having at your working table. Uh, how I make those, um, those wings, I will make a separate video of it later on. But now, now it's time to to tie them in. Uh, you see, I want the, the wings a little bit shorter than the body here. Just a little bit. And when I start to, to tie it in, I take it a little bit on my side because the thread will drag it over. And actually, I want to tie them in right there I'm just turning my thread anti-clockwise so it will grab it on the right spot like that and if you do it right the wings will fall 
over the body and we're just going to secure them a little bit longer like that take a look at it make sure everything is right that they are laying at the right spot like that cut off the exit like that tidy up a little bit with some uh, tools that works it helps a lot For those of you that don't know me I'm being sarcastic like that oh, we just drag all of those things back like that nice really really nice yeah now <clears throat> I want to make a little head here And I do that now because I don't like the uh, the antennas to to be too close to the eye of the hook like that. Now we're taking fasten tail uh, fibers and we're going to find two fibers that we can work with like those two strip it off separate them at the beginning make sure that they are equal in length you see one of them are not really good so I want to find one that I am satisfied with like that one that one was not good you know we want them uh, very fine we want them uh, Betsy in the in the front we don't like them um, uh, like they've been uh, cut off with scissors you know what I mean I hope so it helps then we measure the body and we make them a little shorter than the body We turn our thread anti-clockwise. Take a loose loop around, drag it right up just to secure them and then we will help them find their place. And we want them to point out that was a little bit too much. This step is really important because if this is not right, the whole fly will just look ridiculous. So just take your time, make it right, and you won't have to do it again all over like that now we'll just secure them like that cut off the excess close by 
make sure that they are where we want them to be like that and we will tie them a little bit down help them out a little bit again like that and move our thread backwards again like so now it's time to uh, take a little hair's ear dubbing and it's kind of the the last step i like to use um, this premium dubbing wax from wapsi it's uh, extra sticky and uh, i really like it especially for small flies and uh, for natural hair like uh, like uh, hair sear and uh, and deer and stuff like that and I want it quite heavy here at the beginning because I want to brush it out a little bit and then I drag everything back gently and it's time for tie off and because this is a relative uh, small fly you want to watch the hook eye but we still want a head on the fly right so we make a little head in front of the antennas and a little bit back and a little bit I oh will that will be back You see, it's taking a really buggy buggy look. I'm sorry, I can't uh, talk as at the same uh, same time as I'm concentrating. I'm just a guy. So make a few whiff finishes. That was a total disaster. We'll just take it over here. Three. And we'll take a look. And it's great. Cut off the thread. Like that. And go a little bit wild on your uh, dubbing brush and when I, I say a little bit I mean a little bit just a little bit pull out those fibers a little bit makes it a lot better I don't want any fibers sticking to the eye. Use your nails if you have any and just rip all of those fibers you don't want around the eye like that. Yeah, well, that's nice. And we'll put a little glue on it. It's 
like that. A little bit more. It sucks, but you know, it's, it's a lot of dry material. So make sure you get your shit right. And now we take our scissors, we open up them, we turn our vise and not our cameras <laughs> around. I was going to say around and make sure the focus is okay, like that. You grab your scissors and you put your thumb on the top of the antennas, the scissors underneath and you drag just like you were making a Christmas present of some kind and you get this result. Yeah, this is all out of focus. I'm trying to make it better, guys. Like that. Maybe something like that. looks buggy now I like to take my uh, my pen and uh, just go a little bit wild with it just a little bit just coloring off you can do it before you put the wings on if you want but I like to do it afterwards because the feathers are natural and they're not always in the same same color so I just I drag it very very soft over here like that and then I like to color up the head a little bit sometimes in black and usually in brown it makes it a little bit darker and and this is the final resort resort the final result excuse my english um, I hope really that you like this pattern. It's really effective and um, the shadow underneath is perfect. So make sure to subscribe and uh, would make me very glad if you'd press the like button too and uh, I hope I will see you guys in uh, my next video lights out